What is up, live people? I'm Armenti, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy video. So, guys, for today's video, I will be talking about 10 things you missed about the second Battle Theater update in Lumion Legacy. So, um, guys, obviously, there's probably gonna be around maybe five or six things that you guys missed, not all. 10 so don't go off in the comments and say like hey I only missed two things not 10 yeah guys well personally I missed around like nine out of these things but yeah you guys get the point so without further ado I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and let's get right into it so for the first thing in this video I'll be talking about the anime so apparently there was a lot of anime references in this second battle theater update which maybe because we're in like the anime environment so this is why they added all these anime references so I'm just going over all of them in this clip that I'm showing you guys currently right now and I don't know that much about anime so I'm just gonna read what the wiki says about it so basically there's three Naruto characters that can be found in the battle theater which is Naruto which is facing the door and Sasuke and Sakura under the Sakura tree. Then there's Dragon Ball characters that can be found inside an establishment next to the Lumion Trainer Station. One of them says he wants to get Roria's 7 medals referring to the Dragon Balls. And finally in the right part of the same establishment we can find two characters from two anime, Shigao Kageyama and Aratsaka Reigen from Mob Psycho 100 and Tanjiro Kamado and Nezuko Kamado for, from Demon Slayer. Okay guys, I'm sorry if I mispronunciated all these because I had no idea how to say them, but you guys get the point. So yeah guys, these are the anime characters that appear in the second battle theater update. So for the second thing you guys probably missed is that actually Ikasune has another form. So if you guys go to the small pagoda outside of the battle theater and you talk to a guy inside the pagoda, it talks about an old legend speaking about Ikasune that has a different form. If it's fused with the Sai, I don't really get what's going on in this situation. All I understood from this is that Ikasune has a second form, which is pretty cool. Um, I already tried everything that I could to get the second form of Ikasune and I cannot find how to do it. Maybe it'll be a future update, who knows. But this is all the information I have so far on this topic, so let's go to the next one. Hayato. So apparently Hayato's name may be a reference to Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, uh, more precisely in Diamond is Unbreakable Part 4. I have no idea what this means, but all I know is that when I search up Hayato in Google, a character named Hayato Kawajiri appeared, which is from an anime, Diamond is Unbreakable, and yeah, I'm pretty sure the name Hayato from this update is probably linked to this because Hayato is really a peculiar name. So maybe they did this on purpose, maybe they didn't, but I really think they did. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think they did this on purpose or not? Let me know in the comments right now if they named Hayato on purpose to relate it with Hayato Kawajiri. So for number four, it's pretty much Jake. Okay guys, so if you remember, they posted, the Lama Train Studio account on Twitter posted a poster of the new update in Twitter. So pretty much in this poster we can see Kabanga, Jake, Mabel, Lucy, uh, the new Battle Theater leader, and Skilava, Fan Cub, and then we see Jake, right? And we see the Pagoda on the bottom left, but we see Jake. Jake didn't appear at all, so why was Jake in this poster? Maybe I'm just overthinking it, maybe I'm not, but hey, maybe there's a bigger reason to all this. What do you guys think? I think they forgot to add Jake or something, or they simply needed someone to cover that part of the poster. I don't really know. I think I'm overthinking it, but yeah, that's about this. And 
now let's talk about the statues. So if you guys go to the pagoda, there's four Lumion statues, which are Eaglet, Ambit, Feevine, and Dripple. Actually, these are the first four Lumions in the Lumipedia. If you guys check it, the first Lumion that appears in the Lumipedia is Eaglet, the first starter. The second starter is Dripple, third starter is Feevine, and the fourth starter is Eaglet. So basically, this is the reason behind it. They used the, four, the first four starters from the Lumipedia in this statue part. Now let's talk about the lost civilization. So if you guys go to the Haiwa village in the update, there is a guy who talks about a cave in Route 5 that was home to an ancient race of humans. And if you guys go to the ancient race of humans, there's gonna be like, I don't know, it looks like there was something here which makes sense what he was saying. But then I immediately linked this with Pokemon Brick Bronze's Route 14 where there's like a Lost Civilization kind of thing in there. I don't know if this may have a link or may not have a link with these, but I don't really want to say much about this. Although I really may, might, may, might make sense. I don't know guys. Do you guys think it makes sense or not? Let me know in the comments. So there's two things you gotta let me know in the comments so far. So yeah, I think the civilization thing may be related to it. I personally do think so. But yeah, that is about that. And now let's talk about the fact that Ikasune and Ribi9, I think I said that name right, were actually the same Lumion before. So if you guys talk to this lady in Haiwa Village, she talks about the fact that Ikasune and Revine were the same type of Lumion back in the day, and then they separated. I don't know how this works, but this will be very interesting when breeding comes out. What Lumion will be coming out from Ikasune and Ribi9 if they are breeding compatible? I don't know how this works. And all I know is that I don't know pretty much that's the story of this video, guys. And now let's talk about the part that you guys most likely know about and those who don't. So there, you can actually get five free advanced discs in this update. All you have to go is, all you have to do is go to the health center and then instead of going inside you take a right go straight and as I'm doing in the screen and then you'll find a chest and inside this chest you will get five advanced discs which are very useful for you capturing Lumions and actually there has an advanced disc haven't been out for you guys to buy on the store I don't know why but they should be coming out sometimes maybe with a third battle theater who knows but yeah And now let's talk about the fact that you can earn a free token in the second battle theater update. So all you have to do is go find Hayato, which he is hiding, or no, he's not actually hiding, he's just inside his house. In Haiwa Village, it's the second house near the, the Lumi Center. Just go in, talk to Hayato, and he's like, hey, thanks for saving me, blah, 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 this and that. Here, have a free token. Just imagine if every NPC was that nice, they just give us free tokens, that would be very lit. And finally guys, the last thing you probably missed or probably not, I don't know because I didn't miss this. But anyways, there's the fact uh, that you can earn a new move manual. So all you have to do is take down a uh, road down memory lane, go back to our roots, go back to route 1 and you use the new battle theater Lumi Watch application we got, I think it was called... Um, Controlled burn. Yeah, it's called controlled burned. So pretty much just use it in the branches You burn it up you open the move manual box and you earned mud splatter, which is a decent move I guess I'm surprised this is the second move manual we've earned in the whole game. Um, I would Probably assume there will be more to earn by now, but apparently there isn't So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video I hope you learned something from this and if you didn't well, you are very 
knowledgeable about the game, and I salute you, my friend. But if you did, I hope you drop a like and subscribe, etc., etc. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be trying to make more like this in the future. If I can think of stuff to make, I will, but guys, I'm Armenti and we 